In an interview published in the Italian publication La Stampa on Monday, January 29th, Pope Francis defended his position on blessing irregular and same-sex couples. He acknowledged that Africans represent a unique case in terms of acceptance, attributing their intolerance to homosexuality to cultural influences. The Pope clarified that those who strongly protest his stance typically belong to small ideological groups. He emphasized that Africans, in particular, view homosexuality as culturally bad and exhibit a low tolerance for LGBTQ communities. Pope Francis clarified that his previous directive with the Roman Catholic Church aimed at fostering unity rather than division. He expressed hope that critics of his decision to bless non-heterosexual couples would eventually come to accept it. The Pope underlined that the dicastery of the doctrine of the faith, Ducia Supplicans, declaration was intended to include rather than divide. In defense to his position, Pope Francis reiterated that the directive focused on blessing the faithful of the church, not the union itself. He stated that the gospel is to sanctify everyone as long as there is goodwill. It is necessary to give precise instructions on Christian life, emphasizing that it is not the union that is blessed, but the people. The Pope also questioned the idea of creating list of sinners who can or cannot be part of the church, stating that we are all sinners. He argued against categorizing sinners, emphasizing that such an approach goes against the essence of the gospel. In an earlier directive, Pope Francis had instructed Catholic priests to bless same-sex marriages, a decision met with opposition, particularly among priests in Africa. Some Kenyan bishops went as far as banning the blessings of same-sex unions within their diocese in disagreement with the Pope's directive. What are your thoughts? Share your comments. Make sure you subscribe. See you in the next one.